All right. Hi, I'm Jen Mata, and I'm here with Helmar. And um, you'll have to excuse my voice because I'm losing my voice. Um, I'm going to be doing a project with Helmar Products, and um, we're going to be making a little mask. Now, I have this one. Um, I got this paper mache mask at Target, and I bought another one so that I could work on it with you tonight. This one's a different shape. So we're just, this one's a little smaller. All right. So we're just hoping more people are showing up and we'll get started. Oh, I didn't make the mask shape. I did all the decorating. See, it's white like this. Maybe I'll try to attempt to make one at some point. I do do paper mache masks with my third graders at school. So, yeah, I, my mom says I need some um, manuka honey. I guess that's supposed to help get rid of this, whatever it is. Yeah, we have some guests, no name guests. We don't know who they are. Jump on in. Oh, yeah, I hate the salt water. It's gross. Yeah, I won't do that. But my kids are all, you know, coughing on me. And my husband was coughing. So I guess I'm the last in the house to get it. All right. Cheryl, you want me to just get started or... I'm going to start with, um, first what I did with this is I covered some of it with um, tissue paper and I got this tissue paper from, I think it's um, Seven Gypsies, I think, which is, I, I guess, uh, owned by someone else now, so I'm not sure. I got it a while ago, but it has text on it and it's just like a craft color, so we're going to... Um, put that on there. I know Helmar has a decoupage glue, but um, I haven't gotten it yet, so I'm, I'm going to use the craft or the acid-free glue. It's a, oh yeah, they're owned by Camus Corbin. Yep. Good call. So what I'm going to do is just pan down so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm using the acid-free, let me get you so you can see it acid-free glue and I'm just putting a little on my craft mat here so that I can use a brush to brush it on so I don't know where to put that I guess I'll put that off to the side so I'm just taking a bristled brush you could use a foam brush too doesn't matter and um, spreading it around I'm gonna add it oh, if you can see. I think I'm just gonna put some across the bottom here so I'm brushing some on, and then I took up. I'm ripping. I ripped up some of these um, into pieces like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna. No, I'm just kind of decoupaging it on, and brushing some more glue over top. And you can kind of tuck some of the edges behind. Yeah, just kind of use. Oh, I'm off the screen there. Um, I don't know where I got the black mat. I ordered it online. I just Google searched um, black craft mats, you know, um, non-stick craft mats, and uh, found one. I'll have to look it up. I think I um, bookmarked the page somewhere. I'll have to look up where it is. They were, you know, it was, it was a pretty good deal because I, I like them black. I have a black table and I wanted it to be black. You probably hear my kids and my husband in the background. They're being very noisy in the kitchen. All right, so I'm just kind of doing this. You could also take, you know, since the edges are ripped a little bit, you can take and rip off a little bit. 
Did you write it in the Yeah. You didn't write the channel words. You're not supposed to. Yes, you are. I just gotta scroll down. My chat got dislodged there. There we go. All right, so I'm just brushing it on. You can kind of see. Okay, maybe I'll put a little bit more up here on this side. I love this acid-free glue is, like, I can water it down, and it is really spreadable, but it can leave it thicker, and uh, I love the, the consistency of it. Right. It flows, but it's not too thick. I, gotta, I think I left it open a little too long. And these tops are awesome because they keep everything nice and, you know, wet instead of drying out too soon. I know it does dry fast. I like that too because I don't like to wait. I'm not patient with glue. I have to speed dry everything. So I'm just ripping some of that. Let's see. This way. Okay, so I just laid it on there, and then I'm going to just add a little bit. So I just added two pieces to this. I don't want to cover the whole thing, because I want some of the white for the um, the coloring that I'm going to do after. I, I think the white makes it stand up really nice. Again, I apologize for my voice. <laughs> it's so weird to hear. Oh yeah, the tape runners too. I love those for my scrapbooking projects. But I'm, I don't know, I'm leaning more towards the liquid glues now. I tend to use those more than the, than the, um, you know, tape runners or dry glue. I guess because it's always on my table, the liquid glues are always on my table and that way um, I just grab them. So, yeah, scrapped up. Awesome. All right, so there I've got my tissue paper, just to give a little bit of fun. This is funny because it's reversed. I have to like go in the opposite direction. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to that. I need a wipe here. I need kind of a wipe. Oh, my baby wipes are stuck. There we go. Clean up my glue. <laughs> All right. So then, next, what I did, um, oh, I did the embossing powder next. And normally you would use, um, you know, some kind of embossing ink for this, but I decided to use the um, acid-free glue or the, actually I think I used the gemstone glue for this because it's a little bit um, thicker. But you could use either one because of the consistency. And I do it lightly, so I'm going to show you how I do this. Let me kind of move this a little Turned a little. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use the WOW embossing powder and a little foam brush, or foam uh, applicator. Okay, and I'm just going to squeeze some of the glue on my mat again. Okay, and use my applicator to pick it up on there. And then I'm going to put, I'm using um, sequin waste. The other one I did, I don't know, I did some kind of brick pattern. It was a little stiff, it was a little hard to get it close to it. So I'm going to use this because it's a little more flexible. So I picked some up with the with the um, applicator. Yep, I'm embossing with the glue. Mm -hmm. So I'm just dabbing the glue through the stencil, which is a sequin waste. You got to kind of hold it still, you know, steady so that it doesn't get underneath it. I'm going to do a little overlap here. Okay. And make sure you pull it straight off, not, you know, not do it um, sideways. Oh, you know, I should have dried this probably. <laughs> so 
See, this is what happens when you're live. You forget to do things, like my brain's not really working, and I forgot to dry my uh, decoupage area. So I'm just going to quick dry that. Oh, yeah. I love to try new things. So I'm going to, um, with the WOW embossing powder, you just have to use a uh, paper plate so that you don't add static back into the non-static um, container. So I'm just going to put some on here. Okay, so you can kind of see before I picks it right up. There's a little bit that got extra on the decoupage, but I'm going to leave it because I kind of like a little bit of a distressed look. So I'm just going to heat set that. And with the glue, it kind of bubbles up a little bit, which I like, because I think it gives it more texture. I'm all about texture. Okay, well, that's why I'm going to try to do a little more on top of that. I may not be able to. See if I can get it a little thicker. Perfect. So you can see, I don't know if I can hold it up so that it can catch it. But you can see the um, embossing powder. And it does a pretty good job. Back in. I'm using the um, primary ebony regular. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty easy. I'll show you again because I'm going to do some more on this side. So I'm going to do a little bit down here. Oh, they are being so noisy. Oh no. Jeez. <laughs> it's that time of night. The witching hour. Alright, see how I'm just going through the stencil? Alright, hello, Poppy. Alright, I don't know if you can see the glue on there. Let me see. Yeah, can you see the dots? All right, and then I'm going to put the powder back on. Oh, boy. Daddy's getting mad. He is not. There we go. Move that so I don't blow it all over the place. I've done that before.
second. So there we go. There's the second one. Those came out a little better. Maybe because this part wasn't so wet. Okay. All right. Let me clean up my mess here, and then we'll do the next step. So, so far, I have used the acid-free glue and the gemstone glue I just did for this. I like it because it's a little thicker, the gemstone glue. It's a good thickness to it. Okay. Let me just clean up again. Oh yes, you need wow powders. They are the best. I um, am also a design team uh, member of wow. So I got a good supply of it and I have some experimenting I want to do with that too. So I was using it with the glues, which I really loved how it came out. So thought I'd share that with you. Oh, I'll clean that later. All right, so here's what it looks like so far. Yeah. Yeah, they're good, and they don't have, um, the wow embossing powders are, um, you know, static-free in the container, so they're really, you, sh you don't want to use them with plastic, the pl plastic trays, because they add static, so. <laughs> the wow, it's just the brand. Wow embossing powders. They started in England, but now they have a um, U.S. branch. Susie West is in charge of the United States um, marketing, so she's she's a lot of fun. She does a lot of classes too. All right, let's take a look at my original again. So we've done the decoupage on here and at the top, and now the next step. Oh, I did the embossing too. You can see the embossing powder. This one was a little thicker. I put it on a couple layers. And let it bubble because I heated it really close and uh, I liked how it bubbled up and it's real textured okay the next step is I'm going to add the drips of color on here and I used um, another one of my design teams I used a Faber-Castell gelatos so I'm using the red cherry I'm doing um, rainbow colors so because for Halloween at school, because I'm an elementary art teacher too, uh, I am going to be the color wheel. So I wanted an artsy fun mask to go with that color wheel look. So I have a color, rainbow colored uh, tool tutu and rainbow socks and now I'm going to have a rainbow mask. So these are the colors that I'm using. So, this is fun. I'm just going to take the colors on the mask and right over the embossing powder. You don't have to worry about going in between. Just go right over it. I'm just going to color some on there. Okay, so I'm doing red, orange. I just taught my uh, first graders Roy G. Biv today. It's funny. There's even a song for Roy G. Biv. I'm not singing it, sorry. Not with this voice. There's some yellow. I'm usually sound a lot more energetic and perky, but tonight I sound like a frog, and I guess I sound very tired, so. So when I'm on again next month, uh, you will hopefully hear me a little bit less old lady sounding. Alright, so I'm just coloring. These are the um, metallic ones. This is a metallic purple. Which I love the metallics. Metallic, actually it's called metallic grape. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to let it drip, so I'm going to use my brush again. And actually you could use some spray water too. Use a spray bottle. 
Okay, here's what I do. Here's my water. I'm just using it. i got to be careful I don't spill on my computer. <laughs> and I'm just going to color and let it just drip all over me. You have to kind of tip it a little. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry. Just let it drip. So it's dripping down here. And if you want it to drip more, you can always spray it, you know, with some water. And it will drip more. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this. There we go. Yeah. It's just the direction makes me... And I'm going to put a little bit below the, the eyes, too. Now as I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of dry as I go because um, otherwise it gets kind of murky, muddy. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to quick dry a little bit. But I want those drips to stay. I don't want them to drip down to nothing. Oh, drippage. I know. It's my... I don't know if that's my signature thing, but that's one of the things that I love to do in almost all my artwork, so. Alright, and then the yellow. Now if you, you know, if you're adding color and you want to add more, you can do it while it's wet. You just don't have to wait. With gelatos, they are creamy, and I've even put, closed them up all wet, and they, uh, they're they fine. So I'm just adding a little more because I want some more yellow there. Like it gets a little light right here. So add more. I want to be able to hold this so you can see, but it's hard to figure out how to hold it so you can see it. Kind of overlaps. Dripping down now. Love that. I think the Helmar glue holds up pretty well when it gets wet. Some glues fall apart. This seems to be holding its own. And I'm using a lot of water. That's looking pretty good. Rainbow. Fun, fun, fun. Oop, I got a little too much on there. I'm gonna drip some of that off. I think my table's looking pretty too. Look at that. Puddle. Oop, I like it. Yeah. The water-based. I, I think it works great. I mean, whatever glue they used for this uh, paper mache mask isn't holding up as well as the home glue is. Getting soft. rubbing in some with my fingers. Some of the big clumps aren't blending as well. So and this is a little weird looking right here. Let me add a little color. It's 
There we go. Oh yes, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try the decoupage and make my own mask. I bet you it'll work just fine. So maybe that'll be another, or maybe not a mask, but something, something that'll uh, I can hold up the color to or the shape of something. It's a little wet still there. And it's like Grand Central in here. <laughs> Phone's ringing. Now I like this swirly thing, so I'm just gonna um, make a tag out of that. That's really pretty. Just a side venture here. I hate to waste anything. This will go in a journal or something. Look at that. Pretty color. I'm just gonna set that over here. All right, so we're done with the gelatos. I love that the my three-year-old taught me that these go on the back of this. It was kind of crazy. I'm like, what did you do with the cap? He's like, it's on the back, mommy. So funny. Teaches me stuff all the time. But then you don't lose them. I love that. All right, let me whip up my mess again. I make a lot of mess. All right, next. Let me see what we did next. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, I did little drawings around the eyes. I don't know if I'll do that with this one. I could. I could. Need some lines or something. So let's see. These are the pit artist pens. Oh, we have an, a commercial. Oops. Maybe I'll just uh, I need a bigger pen. We'll get the brush tip. I think I'm just gonna do some swirls. I'm gonna add some bling here too with the gemstone glue. Oh, just drawing a little bit here. Swirlies. It's almost like journaling 3D. All right, do you think I can replicate it on the other side? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> mm, pretty close. Here we go. It's kind of fun. All right. What else did I do? What else? I gotta look. Oh, I added um these little words on here. You could type up your own little um, phrase and cut them up. Oh, I think I froze. Oh no, I froze. There we go. See, this says create art every day. Yeah, great eyeliner. I know. That's what it does remind me of. Thank you, Cheryl. Or no, Don said that. Thank you, Don. Right, let me see. I have these Tim Holtz um, chit chat stickers. So let's see. What phrase should I put? How about, I did create art every day, how about, um, 
Okay, look. Inspire. I'll just put some words. We'll do inspire. Imagine. Some craft ones. Artist. And... Mm. No, you guys gotta go over there. No, I'm not on there anymore. Max, oh, come on. Say goodnight. I wanna say goodnight? No. I'm not on there. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay, go upstairs. Good night, people. Good night. That are watching this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys are ma making you this hard for me. Tonight. Your video. All right, bud. <laughs> go upstairs with daddy. <laughs> they said good night, guys. Bye. -bye. All right, I'm gonna use the um, 450 quick dry for these little words. Oops. There you go. Because I want them to dry pretty quick there, and then I'm gonna put a coat over them. This one's getting low. I must be using it a lot. I go through a bottle of this probably a month, maybe more, maybe uh, quicker than a month. Okay, so imagine, put imagine here, okay, and artist, got artist, that's a good one. And grab it, come on. There we go. Everything is making it difficult for me tonight. <clears throat> you need my box? Oh, my favorite Castell box? That box? Where should I put artists? Let's see. Imagine artist. How about I put it right here? Here at the bottom. I'll just scatter them all around. Inspire. This stuff is my crack. If I had a crafty crack, this would be it. I'm addicted. Love this adhesive. Inspire. How about inspire right there? And original is my last word. Oh, box of, box of Helmer. Oh, you can't have my box. I need that. Told you it's my crack. Oh, that's cool. It says creates right there on the decoupage paper, and then I put original. It's a happy accident. All right, so now these things, even though they're glued down, I think I'm gonna just coat um, the color and everything with a coating of the acid-free glue. Since it dries clear and it won't yellow, it will create a nice coating, a nice like overcoat for the project. I'm just going to coat that over top. And that'll seal everything in. Make it so that, especially with my bringing it to school with my kids playing with it, you never know. I want it as strong as possible. have a dried up booger on there. Yep. Oh, no, come on, come on. 
doesn't want to come off. There, I got it. I think I got it. Well, it just wants to be difficult. I'm going to open it up. can get enough to come out. There we go. Yes. Success. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're out in the bath now. <clears throat> I know it shouldn't clog up with the twist cap. I don't know what I did to it. I did something to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> my voice is just going. I don't know, I'll have to play with it. I probably got it all junked up with something. So I'm just coating it, giving it a good overcoat here, just to protect it before we glue the gems on. <clears throat> and this will seal in the gelatos. Even though they're, they do dry permanent, but with handling, and you want to be able to wipe off. Thing. Oh boy, I'm getting in trouble upstairs. All right, I'm gonna quick dry. <clears throat> Thank you. Hi, Carissa. Oh. Almost dry. I don't like to wait for it to dry, so I'm, I have to hurry it along. Yeah, did you see the embossing? Yeah. That's it. The circles are the embossed. All right. A little tacky, but I think we're good. Good enough for now. There we go. All right. Now, the bling. Bling bling, you have to have bling. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you know, I this one I think is pretty quiet. I I had another one and it was really loud. This is the Mervy, Marvy. I don't know. It's okay. I I actually bought it on um, Overstock.com and they it I had another one and it quit out after, before even six months and they replaced it for me. So I'm awesome. That was I thought that was pretty awesome. I use it a lot. Okay, here's my bling. I did a rainbow effect up here. I, th I don't know how I'm going to put that. Maybe I'll put it like in the corners of the eye. I'll just do some in the corners and some some swirls. See the swirl? These are Prima. Prima bling. These are Prima, the E-line bling. So. Alright, so I've got some <coughs> Prima bling. I'm also a Prima educator. <laughs> A little quick shout out to my prima. So I'm gonna do some black swirls, I think. And um, even though these have adhesive on them, I put adhesive anyway on them because I want them to stay. And I don't think that the adhesive sticks, um, permanent, you know, sticks it down on something curved as well as it should. So I always add more. 
kind of weird like that, I guess. But these are these corner ones. These are so pretty. And I'm going to put these, like, I'm going to put these in the corners of this. That's pretty. So I'm going to use the 450 again and just make a little dot. Oh, i got to open it first. That helps. Make a little dot of glue in each of the corners so that it makes sure that it stays down good and tight. Hey, look at that. Pretty. I'm going to do that. Let's see. I'll do it in the other corner, I guess, too. I don't know. Maybe I want a different color. Let's see what other corner ones I have. I have... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I have clear ones. I can do a clear on the other side. Do that. I'll do one black and one clear because the other side has a lot more black embossing powder. So let's see which one. Maybe this pink. No, I'll do the pink one again. Okay. So here's the clear one. Look at that. You know, because, I mean, on the scrapbook page, these stay really well, but, I don't know, something 3D, I always feel like I need a little more glue on them. There's that. Oops, sorry. So there's the clear. It stands out a little bit, and there's the black. What else? I think we need some swirls. <clears throat> box better get here soon because I'm running out of this stuff. Uh -oh. There we go. It is stringy but it's not too bad. I like the stringiness. I feel like that shows that it's really sticky and working. I need another one on the other side, I think. This side. Hmm. All right, so who else loves Halloween and does a lot of decorating for Halloween? You know, we had a couple wreaths, wreath classes. Cheryl did a beautiful wreath, and who else was it? Was it Carissa that did another one? They were so cool. It inspired me. I need to make, I want to make a Thanksgiving wreath, I think, because just watching you guys. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I think I have more, the, more like fall and winter decor than I do for spring. A lot more holidays than fall and winter. All right, and then rainbows. Ooh, I have these too. These bling. These are new bling from Prima CHA. These are cool. They have purple like surrounding the gemstones. Pull little ones. See? It's hard to see. Trees. <clears throat> just gonna put those here. I like lots of bling. Getting low on this stuff that makes me nervous. There's some. 
All right, and the rainbows. I think I'll put those like in the corner here. I need something. How about my scissors? Um, start. I think I'll just do the little ones. I'll do red. Use my Tim Holtz scissors because they're, they're non-stick. Get glue on everything. <clears throat> and uh, orange. Oh, sorry, out of the screen. Can you see that? Using the 450 to glue them on. And orange, I think I'll do. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe some green. Ooh, they're pretty. I like that. And let's see. We'll do it to the other side. The same thing. We gotta make it balanced. Unity. Another art word that I taught my kids today. I can't grab this one. I can just do it with my fingers. They're so noisy up there. Green. Oh, come on. Come on, non stick. It's supposed to be non stick. Of course, everything's sticky from all my art projects. Yeah. Voila. But I put it on. You can. I'll model it for you. Here we go. And I'll tilt it up. Oh, I kind of like it. I have to work on the the hair with it, though. <laughs> that was funny. Ah. <laughs> I think maybe we need to add some feathers or something to it too, but maybe not. Pretty. So here are the two masks. I keep freezing up. I'm not sure why. This was the original butterfly mask. And then I did the this one for you guys. All right. Any questions about the project before my voice gives out completely? It's kind of fading pretty fast. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oops. 
<clears throat> oh, thanks, Cheryl. That was nice. <laughs> Clap. The applause. <laughs> Thank you for my first Helmer Ustream live. Helmer live. I hope you liked it. And, um,. I don't know when my next one is. It's in November sometime. Yay, thank you. Ah, oh, you did it. I love those little clappy things. That's so cute. Ah, oh, thanks, Anita. <laughs> it was fun. I loved it. Even though I'm coughing and sound like a frog. Oh, November 27th. So it'll be my next one. <clears throat> I don't know what I'll do next. Any uh, requests I can do? Oh, Katie will be here next week. Great. I'll have to, uh, when I get my box, I'll have to play around with some stuff and see what I can come up with. You never know. Inspiration will hit me. Check them you guys are kind of quiet. Oh, don't forget. Yep, don't forget Um, 10% off Helmer. If you place an order, just put in JM2012. You get 10% off. That's pretty awesome. This is the best glue around. It's four fifty. dollars I'm telling you. My favorite. And the gemstone glue I love. Love, love, love. I used um, the 450 on the pearls, but when you're doing clear gems, you want this will dry clear and uh, it won't cloud them like some of the other glues that I've used will cloud the the gems. So these, this is perfect for that. But I also embossed with the gemstone glue. I use embossing with just a little foamy foam uh, applicator. You're welcome, Cheryl. I can't believe no one has tried that. I'm sure somebody else has. All right. See, and it was only an hour. I did it in an hour, Cheryl. So you can go have your date night with your hubby. So jealous. All right, I'm going to um, stop record now, and um, I hope you join me for my next one, and next week will be Katie, so we'll make sure we all join in. I'll try to be here next week to chat along with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.